the Pacific Northwest, a place of beauty and bounty. Fifteen national fish hatcheries are nestled along the fabled rivers of Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. National fish hatcheries aren't just places for fish, they're places for you. There you can explore a whole underwater world, learn about science, and even have some fun. The Salmon Fest is a celebration of the return of the salmon to the Wenatchee River and the Columbia River system. The salmon is an icon of the Pacific Northwest. It is our hope that people get to experience the outdoors in ways they never have before. Our best hatcheries are places where people can come and visit, learn about what we're doing. We love when people visit and ask questions. We're happy to share our knowledge. And then underneath that um, commando looking stuff is our Local students get valuable mentoring from the skilled staffs at our national fish hatcheries. The Mount Hood Community College uh, Fisheries Technology Program has been coming to Spring Creek Hatchery to spawn each fall for over 14 years. They are extremely accommodating and the experience that the students can get here with these large uh, fall Chinook salmon and on an industrial scale like this, it's an awesome partnership. To salmon, it means to the Yakima people, it means life, it's medicine, it's a tradition, and it's, uh, you know, just bringing more fish back for everybody. This is stuff I don't think you can really learn in a classroom. We are taught it, and then to come here and combine it with the hands-on is pretty amazing. This is my first time actually doing the spawning, so I was able to get the eggs, um, the skein, put it into the colanders. Um, I think that fisheries is a really important part of, I don't know, the Northwest. Our national fish hatcheries have been a part of this region's culture for years. Hatcheries have been performing vital fish management operations in the Pacific Northwest for well over a century. The Little White Salmon National Fish Hatchery began producing fish in 1898. That's when William McKinley was still president, and it was a full decade before the first Model T rolled off the assembly line. We're constantly looking at ways to improve the way we raise fish. We have top-notch scientists that are using the best available research and science and technology. We're raising sport fish for tribal and commercial and recreational anglers for a multi-billion dollar industry here on the West Coast. We've got people now going back to the traditional paces where people never fished for 75 years. And we couldn't have done it without hatcheries. 